thanks for stopping by. I'm Jennifer Johnson. I have a flock of Shetland sheep and this channel is all about what it's like to raise sheep for their wool. And today what I want to do is show you setting up a new handling system we just got and then running my sheep through the system just to see how it works. I've done it once before and all I did on that event was just ran them through and didn't do anything. Today what I want to do is I want to check coats because some of the lambs are outgrowing their coats. Um, and the coats are what they wear to keep the wool clean. And I'll put a link here to a video where I go into a lot of detail with the manufacturer of the coats, where I interview him and stuff, if you're interested in that. So anyway, so I wanna change their coats, and then I'm gonna work on their feet, if some of them have um, hooves that need trimming. And I have a video on trimming feet as well, if you want some detail on that, you can click on this link here. I want to be able to have this set up inside the barn for those days when we have bad weather because we're in western New York and the weather's really unpredictable. Rain, snow, you know, blasting heat. So I really want to be able to be in the practice of setting up the handling system inside the barn. And one challenge with that is the floor has to be very level. So that's something I'm going to be working on because I've got some chunks that are quite a bit higher than others. So eventually I want to get this so that it's perfectly level. So what I have right now is this crowding tub, which is two pieces, and then there's a frame. And this is what the sheep are going to be going into. And then there's this sliding door. You'll see me operate it so that I can crowd the sheep in. So then what I'm gonna do is I'll use this. This is called the guillotine gate. I'm not sure I'll be really needing it today, but I wanted to just practice using it, so I set it up in here. So once they're in the here, I'm gonna check their coats if they need a ch um, to change to a higher size. And then after their coats change, they're gonna get locked into the tilt table where I'm gonna check their feet. And if they need to have their feet trimmed, I will go ahead and trim them. And then they'll be released out and they're gonna be motivated to go out to the pasture because that's where they're getting their food. I did give them a little bit of hay this morning. It took me roughly two hours to get everything set up. So I wanted to make sure they had enough to eat in the morning because that's too long of a time. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna free them from that space. And the objective here is to get them smashed into this area here. So we'll see how that goes. set up went through many revisions as we progressed through the day and learned more about how the system works. There's one, and I am on the wrong side. This is where I really need that man door. One of the very first things we learned was that the sheep don't go through the system head first. They either ended up backwards or we were forced to shove them through to get them to go through the system. Another very good lesson is wear gloves at all times when using the equipment. I didn't realize I could remove one of those gates from the 
each of the components. So had a little gate buildup issue there that we resolved later on. Here's an example of a U that I just could not get in there. I actually had to grab the coat and shove her in. These head gates have a release and a pre-lock function, so you have to... I just had to get used to that. It took me a little bit of time. So we were using grain to try and entice the sheep through at the beginning, and it worked with local up, but the only problem was the head gates were too narrow, so she couldn't fit through. Her head was too big. In other videos I've seen the sheep, both of their, all four of their feet stick up out of the bottom there. But the Shetlands are so small that only their back feet stick out. I was able to get their front feet out of the, through the front part of the table. So it worked out fine. Putting the floor back in place was a challenge at first, but eventually I figured it out. But the first few times it took me a while to <laughs> get it closed. thing I noticed was opening that cushion just prompts them to jump out just sort of like a natural instinct so opening the head gate couldn't do it as much as grain, releasing the pad. <laughs> plenty of room to grow in there. <laughs> plenty of space. The straps aren't tight on her feet. <laughs> So the grain technique really wasn't working. It was just taking way too long. Even Alice Paul, my clever girl, it just wasn't working. So we tried it a couple more times, but then we just ended up pulling them through. Come on, then. But she was so close. She's such a good girl.
Yep. is right do lambs work in these shoots and they do <laughs> she's really tiny <laughs> so one thing I'm learning is it's nice to lean up against this circular piece here it gives you my back some support it's kind of working good <laughs> I've never trimmed feet this fast before. gate for the bigger use so that they can get through. Um, I have it set to the smallest width right now for, for the lambs, but if I have a, an adult, I gotta adjust that and it's easy enough to adjust. I went and got a man door that was part of the system because I really want to be able to do this myself. I want to run the whole system as a single individual. And to get into the pen to do the crowding tub, you got to climb over stuff, which isn't safe because, again, the whole point of the system <laughs> is to keep it safe for both me and the animals. And climbing over gates is not ideal. So I went and got the man gate. I think I'm going to install it here. So that'll be a change. Um, I also learned that putting two systems back to back, so the box with its own gate, and the tilt table with this gate is not a good idea. So I need to put some sort of divider. <laughs> Only because the gates kind of bang into each other. So for next time, I will know to have something in between. The other thing, this happened the last time we used it, the tilt table. <laughs> the sheep are really hesitating to get up in there. I think it's just going to take a couple more times. This time we're coaxing them with grain, which seems to be working, but they're still, I re it requires a little physical effort on my part to get them in, but it's okay. They're going to learn soon enough when this tilt table is facing the pasture that as sooner they get done with it, the better. I'm also learning that I'm going a lot faster. My trimming, the actual work I'm doing is a lot faster with this, so I'm pleased about that. All right, so one, another thing I learned, which is awesome, is that the pins that came with my system fit in my old panels. So they're definitely compatible and I can use these panels for different things. This is my little land that's always underfoot. Right in the she way. She thinks I'm her mommy. So I'm going to put this man gate in so that I don't have to um, climb over stuff to get at the crowding tub. Okay, let's see how this man door works for mommy. Much better. Yes! So it was bothering me listening to them grunting from the pressure. So the last you, I didn't put her in as hard. And we had a little bit of a disaster. She started sliding out the back. So we're squishing them from here on out of our medicine. Next, 
come on ladies, come on into your crowding tub. And the rounded sides are meant to be to help them sort of flow more easily, not get jammed into corners. And then as it empties out, Jane can move it further forward so that gate part will block them up. Having a second person getting the sheep lined up was really helpful and made things move a lot more smoothly. So there was three areas in the queue that they had to wait. And in the beginning, we were just sending one sheep through individually through all three sections. At the end, we learned that they're more likely to progress to the next station if they can see the sheep ahead of them. So that made a big difference. So as we get closer to the end, we finally started getting a good rhythm going. And I think I learned that it's probably too much of a task to try and do it all by yourself. So having someone there to help definitely makes it go smoother. Eventually, I ended up moving that side out panel, that blue panel, so that I could help my helper drag lambs through into the tilt table. So all the feet are done on my ewes, which roughly 75 sheep or so. Learned a lot. I really like laying the system out like this. I just, I just hoovered a slice of pizza because it's five o'clock. We were at this, I started setting up the system at 10 and we just got the last sheep through at five, but they all got through. A lot of them did really well. A few of them really had to fight. My forearms are pretty shot because I have to drag them, many of them, into the tilt table. But their feet are all done, which feels really great. Can't remember a time when I've had the entire flock finished. Normally I do it piecemeal. So. Oh, so yeah, so that's the first time running all the sheep through. I think I went really well. I'm really happy, pretty tired. So now I have to just pack everything back up into the barn and then I'm going to get in the hot tub. <laughs>